Once again, hookaholics, welcome back to another foul mouth fishing. Uh, it is time for our MTB Elite of September, uh, the year that just won't end, 2020. So uh, I just got this in the mail, and uh, it's time to do another unboxing. So we've got the Mystery Tackle Box Elite uh, Edition. They have three tiers. This is their tallest, highest, most pricey tier um, for value. Uh, of their monthly subscription boxes. If you don't know what MTB is, uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's pretty obvious by this point. But uh, if you're interested, I, uh, I do uh, leave all the information to uh, get in touch with them uh, at mtb.com uh, or mysterytacklebox.com so that you can, uh, you know, check it out for yourself. See if you like getting bait and tackle random items in your mailbox every month or even just once in a while. You don't have to subscribe to a monthly uh, subscription. You can go to the Shop Carl's website and individually price items and buy individual baits at your leisure. Um, and of course, if you're like me and you're always wanting to up your repertoire of different techniques and styles and, and, and advance your catalog of baits that you try to use because I, I limited myself on tubes a long time ago, uh, primarily as a saltwater angler, so now I'm getting more into tube baits now that I'm a freshwater angler for smallmouth, etc. Uh, swim baits were never a big thing uh, for me. Um, flukes, however, were. So, you know, adding a different genre into my tackle uh, supply allows me to adapt and extend my angling capabilities across the board. All that aside, this is September 2020's Elite Box. So let's pop in and uh, see what we got for September. So, each MTB comes with a little measuring book or measuring scale on here and a bunch of little contests you can enter. You take a picture of your, of your catch uh, with this little scale, post it to their social media, and occasionally they give you prizes along with featuring your pictures uh, on their websites. <clears throat> so, Carl's Bait and Tackle. We don't have a what's in the box card. We've got another one of those printouts. I can kind of understand that considering all the COVID-19 issues that... Uh, that the landscape has across all companies. Um, they're probably just, uh, you know, out of card stock, so they're doing little printouts. That, be it as it may, at least we have a rundown of what their MSRP suggested prices are, so I'll put that to the side as we dive deeper into this box. We always get a little Dibble Digest, it's a little tip and trick sheet. Uh, it's got a little acronyms thing on here, sometimes there's crossword puzzles. This time we've got rod fishing blanks, so it explains the difference between a graphite blank and a fiberglass rod blank, and three ways to fish a chatterbait. Mm. So there might be a little bit of a chatterbait in the box. Typically, but not always, what's in the dibble kind of coincides with what's in the box. Another good thing about MTV, when you buy an MTV box and they ship these monthlies, if they have, say, uh, a spinnerbait, they tend to throw on there some sort of a trailer that might go with it, especially with jigs. If you have a, a bluegill pattern jig, uh, they'll have like a bluegill curly tail grub or something that you can throw on there uh, with the same color characteristics that'll match the hatch and match that, that, uh, that bait as best as you can to help you go from box to bass to boat in one fell swoop. Four things to remember when junk fishing. Oh, I know all about junk fishing. So we got a little pamphlet in here. Um, again, um, the variety of lures, and that's really what an MTB slam is all about. It's taking the lures in here on the water and trying to catch a fish on each lure. And that's what yeah. So, junk fishing. Next, we have a little where to fish. So this gives you a little bit of uh, insight into the different types of... Um, I like to call it structure, but I call this not so much structure. I, I think of structure as 
um, what the surroundings are made of. So rocky points, uh, silty sandy bottoms, uh, down tree limbs, grass coverage, that kinds of things. Those I, I consider structure. Um, this I just consider how to fish the layout of the lake or um, you know the perimeters of a pond. Um, that's how I view it. I don't particularly consider it structure. Some call it. That's number two or number three in the box. We have our dibble, our little tip on, on uh, trash fishing 101 and then that. And now we're getting to the brass tacks. So, got ourselves our sticker. Every month we get a little sticker. This time it's the Catch Co. themselves. So Catch Co. is the actual parent entity um, for uh, MTB. So the baits and things, they, they primarily come under the Catch Co. And MTB is one subsidiary. It's, you know, how they started it. The Carl's Bait and Tackle is their side sales. Um, you know, it's just entities within entities. Thus is business in the USA. Let's get into the box. First up, we have a well-named brand, uh, Limis, Liv, Livingston Lures Schoolmaster for $11.99. So we got ourselves a nice Team Livingston series, Schoolmaster, Bassmaster Classics Sound Technology. So this is another one of those uh, Livingstons that have the little battery inside. Uh, when you contact the front hook eye, and the line tie, in this case, it will give off a, a sound resonance to attract bait fish. So, let's see if I can get this to work. Sometimes it's just... Hmm. It does have a rattle in there. But it's too high frequency. I feel a little bit of buzzing, but I can't get it to resonate any sound uh, for you to hear. But nevertheless, so you got yourself a little Livingston Lures. Um, their smart chip is in there, as they say. Uh, so it's a little battery in there with a little microphone speaker, and it'll make a bunch of sounds that are supposed to sound like wooden, wounded bait fish. Um, they call it their EBS or electronic bait sound simulator. Um, the difference is clear, they say. This one happens to be a 30-foot diving depth. Uh, it is 4 inches long, and it's 13 sixteenths of an ounce. So it's almost an ounce in, in weight. So that's pretty cool. Nice uh, copper, white bottom, little pink on the, on the uh, you know, under the chin with a black back, and a nice copper tone, which I always appreciate. So that's pretty cool. $11.99 for that Livingston Lures little jerkbait with that EBS technology. Next up, Bagley's Bolsa XB. Bagley. Bagley Bolsa. Oh, there we go. There you go. Tiny little XB Bolsa bait. So from Bagley, another name brand, for $9.99. This is a 3 16 3 to 5 foot diving little Bolsa build. Uh, come on out. <laughs> Make these packages almost impossible to get into. Um, little crankbait. So, so we got a little bit of finesse on here. Got a nice little shad pattern. Single treble on the tail, which is always good, especially with a bait this small. Again, you're going to have that little uh, chin of red, the white bottom, and that shad yellow with a shad spot running down the back end of it. Little tiny uh, bill, good hook placement. I like that because this is something any size bass is going to engulf uh, without any issue. So you don't need a treble on the chin that's gonna end up catching and, and just bringing up a whole bunch of bunk. So $9.99, it's quite pricey for something about the size of my thumb. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, you know, it's bagley, it's balsa wood, it's, it's premium. So we got $9.99 for that. Next up, Z-Man's Chatterbait Freedom CFL. Chatterbait, remember from our uh, little Dibble Digest. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's find this in here. Z-Man Chatterbait. Uh-oh. Well, 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 well. That's not it. Well, I can tell you this. MTB, you messed up. 
You messed up, MTB. In, in weird ways. I have a second Livingston. <laughs> so I've got two of the Livingston lures in my box. So that's probably a good thing for you. However, I don't see any Z-Man products in this box at all. So we'll skip over that. We'll come back to that probably on another episode because this is going to be a call to Shop Carl's. Castaic. Castaic's Loco. Uh, Loco 10. Castaic. Loco 10. Yet another crankbait. Catching a trend here. A fall transition. So this is a 3.5 inch, half ounce, 5 to 10 foot diving. Again, that same shad pattern. But this is a much deeper diver. Twin trebles. Um, there's that yellow shad spot. Much larger bill than the Bagley Bolsa. We'll put side by side there. Um, cool that I got two Livingstons. Not bad. The color they call this is Chartreuse Shad. Uh, go figure. Um, yeah, half ounce. Definitely easy. You can throw this on spinning gear or on a caster. No problems when it's half ounce. A little Bagley, I probably would throw that on spinning gear. Uh, and not even attempt it on, on, a, on a bait caster unless I bring out my BFS uh, bait caster. Um, that one, the Castaic, is $7.99. Next up, another name that I'm very well aware of, and it is something that everybody can recognize, the good old-fashioned Roadrunner. They have a quarter-ounce underspin on that classic Roadrunner head. Uh, their color on this for the quarter-ounce is the Randy's Classic Runner, uh, black R H C R. Um, hmm, R H C R. Well, it's like chrome, I guess. I don't know. But uh, you got yourself a little quarter ounce underspin on that classic Roadrunner, that Roadrunner head that everybody knows. Um, not a bad bait in itself. Uh, I have a bunch of Roadrunner heads. I don't think I have any underspins of Roadrunner. This might be the first of my, uh, to my Roadrunner setups uh, to have an underspin. And again, that is $6.49. Next is the Lunker Hunt Impact Shock. This is another Lunker Hunt for the Impact Series. I've got a bluegill pattern. So this is now probably before the, the water starts cooling off and you start lowering the amount of uh, bluegill that you're going to see as a, as a forage for these fish out there chasing bait as the water cools off. So we got ourselves another little lipped crankbait, square bill style this time. This is a zero to two and a half foot diver, sticky trebles, high pitched little rattles in there, stabbing the heck out of myself. Um, very awesome translucent paint scheme, you can kind of see right through it almost. Um, but there you go, that's a little uh, 3 8 ounce, 2 inch, and it dives to 2.5 feet total from 0 to 2.5 feet, wobbling a little square bill. So that's pretty cool. Definitely like that deal. That's definitely going to find uh, find me uh, some use uh, in, the, in this fall, and definitely in the spring as well. I love bluegill patterns in the spring, right as the uh, spawn for bluegill happen, and uh, the pre-spawn for the bass as well. But we're in the fall runoff. Leaves are just starting to turn on our on our trees so this is transition time keep that in mind cream lures spin that's five dollars and nineteen cents by the way cream lures spinner bait so we have a little cream lures spinner in black and red with two willow leaves um, they're hammered willows which is kind of interesting uh, they call this an assorted color and, and size it's black with a red uh, hook and red chin and a chartreuse and black skirt, double willow leaf, and copper. So that's interesting. That's a du double copper willow. I like that. And again, this is a one pack. What's the weight on it? They don't have a weight. They don't list the weight. Oh no. Well, whatever. Four dollars and ninety nine cents for this cream lures little double willow spinner bait. Um, I I love spinners. I got a ton of spinner baits. Uh, this will definitely add to my collection. And it's something that I don't have a lot of. Most of the time, I, I do, like I say, I like a, uh, a chrome pattern blade. Uh, I don't mind the, the brass or the copper if it's, uh, you know, a Colorado for the thump. But typically with flash, I always go for the chromes or the silvers or high-vis painted uh, willow leaf. So this is a different 
tone that I'm more apt to, to throw, more accustomed to throwing. So this will be interesting. We'll see how that works out for me. Cream spinner bait is $4.99. And finally, the Excite Baits Raptors. These are the Raptor Tail Juniors in green pumpkin. Um, these are $3.08, and they are just a little green pumpkin trailer. Probably awesome for any kind of jig you got. It's got four flapping little appendages, large antennae, and big thumping mandible claws for that crawl pattern. Um, definitely has a lot of action suited to pretty much anything you want to throw it on. I assume they want to put they want you to put that on the spinner bait. That's not exactly a color that I would throw with the spinner bait. I would actually probably throw something black um, rather than that. And I can't really see it going on anything else that they have in here other than you throwing a Texas or you know uh, Colorado rig. Uh, so there you go. So anyway, that's the box for September. So once more, the Livingston Lures, which I got two of, are $11.99. The Bagley's Balsa XB was $9.99. The Z-Man Chatterbait Freedom CFL, which I didn't get, which is probably what those trailers might have matched up color-wise color for. Uh, that was a $10 bait, $9.99, that I did not receive, so I'll have to make a, a message to, uh, you know, Carl's Bait and Tackle and their uh, customer service. Castaix Loco 10 is $7.99. The Roadrunner Randy Howells Classic is $6.49. The Lunker Hunt Impact Shot, two, two and a half foot diving little square bill. That's awesome. That's $5.19. The Cream Lure Spinner Bait is $4.99. Just not a really a color that I'm looking for with that chartreuse on black, but who knows? Uh, if you have really stained water, that's definitely easy to work with. Mine is sort of tannic, but it's not really badly stained. Um, but we'll see. Excite Baits Raptor Tail Jr. 308 to round out the box. And that awesome sticker. Always appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, share it with your friends. I hope it was at least informative, if not entertaining. And uh, I appreciate all those who, who stopped in. Um, definite, you know, thanks to Mr. James out there for keeping up with the, uh, the channels. Uh, uh, we have that little section in your channel for discussion. And he's probably the only guy actually on the discussion page for the Foulmouth Fishing Channel. But I appreciate the comments down below in the comment section. If there's anything or any advice you can give me for the baits that were in this box on how you would fish them, especially, that, say, that, that uh, double willow spinner bait, or even, uh, you know, that, uh, that Livingston. How would you fish the Livingston? Give me, a, give me a good hint and tip. Share some knowledge with me. I enjoy giving you what I know, and I really relish all the information you guys can give me. Um, so big shout-outs to all you who give me inspiration and information, and I hope I can do the same for you. Uh, that all being said, as always, from me to you, I appreciate the time you've spent with me. If you like this, share it with your friends. Like this episode. Like my channel. Go check out some of my other videos. I've got more coming. Uh, life's been kind of hectic, <laughs> but we're getting back on pace. And uh, as always... Tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics.